Hello from future Miranda. Before we begin, I just want to let you know that this vlog is spoiler free. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Brayden. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, a book called Legend and how Miranda has not read that book. This hurts me. Deeply. <laughs> it's a great book. Great story, great plot. What's it about? A little Please bit explain less it to good me. writing. There's a boy. He's a boy. He's good. <laughs> Uh, he's good at doing the parkour and fighting and things, and there's a girl who is also good at doing the parkour and fighting and things. Okay. And they are set against each other to, okay. to do the fighting and parkour and things. <laughs> you do know I'm probably going to put this in a video once I, hope I actually you do. read Legend. I'm I hope actually going to put this in that video. I'm doing it. I'm finally going to read Legend. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Miranda and welcome to my universe. This week is my last week of winter break before the second semester of college starts for me. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to, what's it called? Binge read the entire Legend series by Mary Lou. This video is lovingly dedicated to my best friend Brayden who has endlessly wanted me to read this series. So hi Brayden. I'm doing it. I'm reading Legend. Are you proud of me yet? Probably not because it has only taken me a few uh, years. We're beginning this journey. I'm really excited. Wish me luck. Alrighty. It is Monday morning and I am 138 pages in to legend. So I always have a main concern whenever I read dystopian novels because if authors aren't careful, I feel like it's super, super easy for their book to blend in with all of the other dystopian novels that have already been written. So going into legend, my main concern was that there would be nothing that makes this series stand out in comparison to the others. And um, if I'm completely honest with you, as of now, I don't think there's anything super special about this. So far, most of the story has just been the plot itself and the characters and how the characters connect with each other and yada, yada, yada. It hasn't really dove deep into why the society is the way that it is. So hopefully, the farther I go, the more I'll get of that. I also want to talk about the characters because right now, the two main characters are Day and June. I really don't like June. She's just very stuck up. She thinks she knows it all, which I mean, she kind of does, but that doesn't mean you have to brag about it. Come on. I do like Day though. I think his character is very interesting, how he survives on the streets and how he's had to learn all of these different things, all these survival techniques coming from a very poor situation. I think he's very interesting. He's definitely my favorite one, but June, there's just something about her that I just don't really like. We shall see what ends up happening. Hi there. It is now Tuesday morning. I was going to film last night, but I was up late reading, so that didn't end up happening. I am about 80% of the way through Legend. I'm on page 252. I finally learned what I have always wanted to know and that's how the government thinks and views their people. I love this book way more than I did before. <laughs> I hated June before, but like, I mean, I still kind of don't like her just because of her personality, but she's kind of better now. She found out something about Day that the government has been trying to keep a secret, and so she kind of has more of like a mutual understanding. I don't want to spoil, but like I'm at a really good part right now. I'm really hyped to see how this one ends. Good morning. Sorry if you can hear my heater running. It's just that it's freaking cold in here and I want it to warm up. So I guess we'll have to deal with that. I finished the first book of the Legend Trilogy. And let me just tell you right now, things are a Bruin. We're one third of the way through this trilogy and I actually have to say that I really like it. There's a lot of uniqueness in this trilogy. I like how the two main characters are not like each other but they are. They're kind of like two faces on the same coin. 
they're like the same person in some ways but in other ways they are the complete opposite of each other and that's just super refreshing to see in a book series considering that a lot of the time you have like these two outcasts or these two people who are super rich or these two people who are super poor and like you take two of the same group and then it's a story about them but here we have the Romeo and Juliet kind of effect where it's like they're two completely opposite and in reality the government is trying to hide how similar these two people are and it's like oh my gosh my mind is blown Marie Lou you have completely rearranged the game when it comes to dystopian novels my friend It's been too long. Really, it's only been like a day since I've talked to you, but it's fine. Um, I am halfway through Prodigy. What I really like about this book in comparison to the first book is that it dives deeper into, okay, this is our government. Now we're gonna figure out where the fine line is between what is right and what is wrong and how the government goes about doing things and whether they are right or wrong. And it's just super cool seeing that because a lot of the time it's more like this is a dystopian society so our government is going to be horrible but in this book it kind of took a turn i don't think i've ever read a dystopian novel where the government actually became good or attempted to be good i don't know what actually is going to end up happening but i've never seen that in a dystopian series before so I think that is super, super cool. I'm really enjoying it so far. I kind of got annoyed with this book a little bit because I think that there is a love square going on. It's no longer a triangle. It actually never was a triangle. I and mean, it adds some jazz to the whole story, but like, is it necessary? Do you need to wrench my heart out? I don't think so, Marie Lou, so please stop it. But it's fine, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> I want the brink of tears. <laughs> I can't do this. I'm gonna have to tell you about this tomorrow morning. I can't. <laughs> All right, let's talk about these three books now that I actually am not a mess like I was last night. So, the Legend Trilogy. <laughs> Why have I not read this sooner? I just wanna say that right now. I loved this series and I think one of the main reasons that I feel this way and I feel so passionate about it now is because of the ending. For those of you who don't know me, I am a sucker for really, really emotional, good, fulfilling endings. If the ending is so solid, it makes up for everything else. On top of that, there was nothing to make up for because the whole entire series was so good throughout all of it. This first book was probably my least favorite, even though it was still five stars. It was just kind of like, okay, here's the introduction to this world. Here are our characters. That's basically what this was. Then we have Prodigy where it's like, okay, now we're going to add a twist on it where the enemy isn't really who you think it is. And then we have Champion. And the whole point of Champion was pretty much to rip your soul out. This book is my favorite, even though it made me cry the most. I cried so much while reading this series, but this book made me cry the most. Also, I found out that there is another book in the series that was published in 2019. It's called Rebel. Obviously, I didn't read it in this vlog because I didn't know about it when I started. Then somebody brought it up to me and was like, oh wow, you're gonna read four books in a week? And I was like, four? <laughs> but I read the trilogy, I loved it, it was so good. Honestly, this series adds so much as it goes along. So much diversity in the characters. Right when one conflict seems to have been resolved, another one comes up and you have to resolve this one. And it's it was so well done. I can't form how much I love this series and I can't make it into words for you, obviously. I'm really struggling. <laughs> I just recommend that if you haven't read this series and you like dystopian or you like young adult fiction, I highly recommend this book, this series, all of it. And with that being said, that is it with my legend vlog. I did in fact read it in a week because I finished it last night and I'm, I'm very proud of myself, but I am also very, very 
glad with all the people in my life who have encouraged me to read this series. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brayden, Brianna, all the others. I know that there are a ton of other people who recommended this series to me. Thank you. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you all. Please be safe, make good choices, and I will see you next week. Bye!